morning guys Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com I apologize but I'm losing my voice um, which is probably better for you guys to not have to listen to my annoyance uh, in the as my normal annoying tone so I'm gonna try and get through this video as quick as possible uh, this is actually probably one of the most emotional little bit of videos I've ever had to do uh, this is a 2006 regulator uh, 24 FS and uh, the story behind this boat is pretty simple I have a client and friend down here in Bluffton and um, we had sold his first boat and we I brokered this boat for him out of Charleston and uh, back in 2014 just so you know this regulator comes with a brand new 2014 trailer that's only been used once to bring the boat from Charleston to here and it's been over stuck into the field um, the benefit to me is that uh, I probably used this boat with my family as much as he has. We had gotten this boat originally at about 500 hours and now we're at about 700 and um, we purchased, he, he purchased, but I just helped him purchase a 2014 32 foot Cape Horn center console as his fishing the need for his fishing has increased to a little bit out further offshore which the 24 won't give him so the 32 k horn is arriving uh, later on this afternoon um, first thing in the morning now I just want to preface this is a coming soon video and it may be available we already have three or four buyers lined up for this boat. As you guys know, these regulators are hard to come by, especially in this Carolina Blue Hall. So when I put this listing up, it is as a coming soon, unless my terminology in the initial description says now available, but we have buyers lined up for the boat already, but in due diligence for my client, I am still working up this listing. Now, I'm gonna get into the details of the boat as quickly as possible before I lose my voice completely. These are twin 150 Yamaha motors on I'm thinking about 710 on one, 725 on the other, and um, which is actually where they should be for, for a 10 year old boat being used properly. The boat was serviced immaculately for the first 500 hours, also dry stack stored. We brought the boat in here back in 2014 at around 500 hours and did a complete head to toe 500 hour service including your anodes in and out thermostats uh, everything um, the only note of difference is I just want to let you know you do have some peeling on the cowlings as you guys can see I don't want you to show up and go oh you know oh my god it's got chips on the cowlings Bleh. You know, we're not doing that today. And also the anodes. Now, she is uh, she at 615 or 625 hours, I can't remember. We also had another full service done, which was done in last October. So she is going to be due for service. That's going to be on the buyer. The seller is not going to uh, do the up-to-date service as we still have a few hours to go on that. So keep that in mind when you're figuring this out. Trim tabs, as you can see. This boat actually came with standard trim tabs. We want, we uh, upgraded and put in uh, auto trim so they retract because we didn't want the forklift smashing in the trim tabs because we weren't paying attention. And I would recommend a fresh set of anodes, which is all of about 20 bucks and it'll take you 10 minutes to change out. Now, once again, don't listen to me on this boat. Hire a surveyor, hire a mechanic, do your due diligence. Now something I want to note, I have a million pictures of me and my family on this boat and especially the initial pictures on this and I want you to know and hopefully this HD GoPro is coming out pretty good. I got that on my head um, and shooting with the regular camera just as well. This was a dark blue striping. This was actually just taken off last month before consideration of the Cape Horn um, was going to be purchased. And uh, that's actually going to be buffed right out. So it's not any anything where it's an issue. It's just going to be buffed right out. It's just um, the mechanic who actually is on site here, Raw Marine, who has done all the work on the boat, was actually going to buff that out. 
You have clean titles. You have a South Carolina title for the trailer. Uh, no liens on this vessel. Taxes paid up to date. Clean bottom, clean hull, dry stack stored boat. Beautiful Carolina blue. Basically my job here is just to pinpoint stuff like chip cowling. I've had this boat out uh, probably two dozen times and um, enjoyed every minute of it. This boat was uh, actually put in place after George's father passed away uh, in memory of him. And as I walk through the vessel, I'm going to just kind of walk you guys through. First and foremost, I want to tell you guys, personal items as seen are not included in the boat, although some things will be conveyed in the sail. For example, this Yeti cooler will not be conveyed in the sail. That is staying with the seller, but the outriggers, minus the gear, but the outriggers themselves will be conveyed in the sail. Obviously, the curtains that go with it. Now, keep in mind, if you guys don't know, well, let's just pop in here real quick. Your head area, your battery sets actually right up in this area as well. Batteries are fresh. Two Perco switches. If you didn't know, in the regulator in the 24SS, there is a step up. It's not a flat deck all the way through. You guys can see, Gatorades, Powerades go into the new boat. Forward cushion area in the center console in great shape. The eyes and glasses in very good shape. The T-top is in very good shape. I also want to point out, as we start getting into other things, this Garmin XHD is one month old. Yes, only one month old. Just put on last month. In fact, let me just go this way real quick. You can see you got your standard staining, but no rips or no tears on the uh, helm. And let's just kind of bounce up in here real quick. I don't think see if I can get this open. Oh, I can't get this open. Hold on, you guys. <sighs> Nothing up here. Just clean fuses. And as we bounce down, as you guys can see, on port motor, we got 722.6 hours and 719. Service is due. Going to be maintenance is going to do probably in about 10 or 12 hours. And that's just going to be your oil and filter and you know things that need to do. You got a GPS map 5208. You got a VHF Marine. We put a brand new stereo system in it, actually with the speakers uh, to, to really, I mean, this thing you could hear coming from a mile away. This autopilot was, there was actually autopilot installed in this. Um, it is not a new autopilot. It was dated back to, I think, around 2008, but it was just put in um, at the end of last season and works functionally fine. The Lenko trim tabs, when we got the boat, did not have auto retract, but now it does. So you got brand new uh, radar up top. You guys can see all the electronics. You know, your tagging is still live. You can see horn bilge, everything works. And your tax with your fuel and speed. Um, having the boat out as much as I've had this boat out and enjoyed it. In fact, I haven't even told my wife and family yet that it, it's going to be going. Uh, 44 on this boat is pretty much top end, depending on conditions. I've had the vessel up, uh, you know, generally I cruise on this boat with the twin 150s in, in you know, semi-rough conditions. Probably I cruise around 30 to 32, and it gets me everywhere I need to be comfortably. She drives like a Cadillac, you know, it's a regulator hull. You guys can see the storage, and the reason why I pulled all that up, just so you can see it, just so you know, there is a set of Ford cushions uh, that really just haven't been used since the boat has arrived. They've been sitting over in the seller's garage, and they are in excellent condition, uh, you know, along with uh, what you see here. Now, what I do want to point out, oh, back to performance. Um, I forgot what the fuel burn was on this particular vessel, but generally, uh, 42 to 44 is top end. You're not going to do 50 miles an hour in this boat. I just want to let you know right up front, most of you guys that know the regulators with the 150, that generally is top end. Uh, but you're comfortably, you know, like I said, I do 28 to 32. I can't remember what the fuel burn was, but it's going to be what it's going to be. You can't change that. So uh, live well's always been fun. 
and um, cooler as you guys can see everything's real nice um, this was actually <laughs> added these goofballs added that in let me just tip up underneath here real quick as you guys can see I don't know if the fenders and lines are gonna go in it but that could be discussed They're probably gonna go on the Cape Horn very well serviced now I just want to walk through the deck real quick there is no stressing, no cracking. Uh, once again, get your own surveyor. Look at those jail audio speakers. I keep forgetting to dip my GoPro down, so hopefully this is getting everything. But as you guys can see, she's really nice. Now, my only, where we're gonna get into, other than the chipping and the cracking on, where you're gonna see kind of that paint flaking off on the cowlings, um, that's going to be something that, you know, is a little bit of a negative and I want to point those things out. You know, this is stained up a little bit, but can be cleaned. But probably the biggest thing that I want you to take into account, all of your side cushions are in pretty good shape forward, which is really weird considering they're out in the sun most. But you're starting to get a little staining and drying up along there and here. And as you move to the stern of the boat it gets to be a little bit more intense now I want to tell you guys we actually got the boat back in 2014 in this exact condition and there has been zero deteriorations now me on fishing vessels I can't stand the side cushions because they're taking a pounding but you know this could be something you could either get changed if you want, um, you know, my client was thinking about it, but they just never deteriorated any worse uh, than where they are. So you do have some drying crack as far as the rest of them goes. You're fine, and there is no ripping and no tearing. So anyway, that's the pretty much the general walkthrough. Like I said, please keep in mind, we're gonna list this vessel, and I'm gonna put it up as coming soon, but as it being as it is, we already have had buyers waiting on this boat. Um, whether they can swing their financing or not is going to be the question of the day. Uh, don't forget, we have a 2014 trailer that is just as good as gold, and I will have a video up on that as well. So anyway, Rob out here, and I'm always in hotwater.com just for the general synopsis of the 24 FS regulator. And I hopefully that helps you guys out. If it becomes available for purchase 100%, then I will pull the trigger on the website. And it'll be a free for all. And if not, thank you for watching. And I appreciate all your guys' input as always, especially on my social media pages. Rob out here, I'm always in hotwater.com at Palmetto Bluff, one of my favorite places on the planet. Wishing you guys a safe and great boating day.